So what we're going to cover in this video is how to create a page that displays a set of linked lists in SharePoint. Now the starting point for that is we need to obviously have our lists already in place and we do have that. Here we have a list called customers. This is our parent uh, list. So this has information about our contacts and importantly it has a field here called company. Now our child site is a site here called orders. So what it basically does is has an order for every item and assigns that to a customer. But that field is actually pulled from the parent list over here. Now if we go into list for this child, we go into the list settings and we scroll down a bit, you'll see that the site called customer is a lookup field. So if we drill into that further, we'll see that the customer field uh, is actually pulling from a list called customers. Okay, so that's our parent and is pulling the column from that list called company. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a page to display both of these lists. Now we're going to create a site page. Now to do that, we go to the home of our team site and then we go to view all pages that appears in the ribbon menu. Now this takes us to our site pages and we just need to create a new site page here. So I'm going to call this page uh, view orders and save it. Okay, so that'll create a new uh, page. It'll also put us directly into edit mode and what we need to do here is go up to the insert tab and we're going to insert the web part for both of our lists. So the first list that we'll put in here is our parent or our customers. So we'll add that. That will then add that to the page for us. We then select the blank area underneath and then go insert web part and now we put in the child. So the child list is orders. Okay, so that is dependent on the parent. And again, what you'll see here, these are the two lists. Now what we need to do is we need to tell the page that these lists are connected and they will receive information between them. Now to do this, we go to the child list. We go down uh, into the top right and select the little down arrow and from the menu that appears, we select edit web part. Now what that will do is that will place a advanced editing uh, option up here on the very right. But what it also does, if we go back to the arrow and pull it down, is you'll see that it gives us an additional option down the bottom called connections. We select that. We want to actually select the option to get filter values from. We want to pull that from our customers or our parent list. So we select that. Now what we'll see in a minute is the page will update and what we will get is a dialog box. So what we need to tell the page is where is orders going to get information uh, from? So our provider field, which is our customers list. Okay, so we need to basically send uh, along the basically the company. So what we need to do is find the field called company and where is that field to be sent on this page? It's going to be sent to our child list and is going to be sent to a field called customer. Once we've done that, we select finish to save. You'll see the page update again and it'll take a minute to refresh. Now when it refreshes, we'll see that the child site has a filter next to the uh, column here, customer. And if we have a look at our parent site, you'll see that I also get an additional column here called select with a number of arrows. So that indicates that our configuration is all complete. So if I now save the page, what we should see is we'll see those two lists together and automatically you can see that the select item here is on the first line and it is applied to the second list. So the only items we see here are those matching the company called Contoso. So if I select the second company here called CIA Ops, then what we'll see is, is the orders list below will be reflected to only show items that match that. And likewise, if I select the last option here, uh, the company is Microsoft, you'll see that again filters that information in the second list. So we only see the items from there that match in that column. So that's really a really quick and easy way to create lists that are linked. Uh, best practices obviously have the linkage set up beforehand, but you can certainly link other lists that um, don't have lookups in them, but you need to make sure that the information sent from one list to another on the page configuration does make sense, or obviously it won't work. Now, if you want to get more sophisticated, you can then start linking multiple lists together so that when one list is updated, 
you get a ripple effect and only get that information that is relevant to that first item selected. So again, this allows you to configure that arrangement, place that on a page and create a dashboard to give you a really good summary of information in lists that are linked.